the parabola. The basic parts of the parabola that we're going to look at, we have the directrix, which is this line here. Of course, we have our vertex, and that's either the minimum or the maximum for our parabola. And we have a focus. And then the axis of symmetry. And what's really interesting about a parabola is that the focus is the same distance from the vertex as the director x. And the focus is going to help us determine if the parabola goes up like this or possibly goes down like that. Now we're very used to seeing these. Um, we know that that's y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. But in this video, we're going to look at it in a different form. That's going to help us graph not only these two, but also a parabola that might look like this or look like this. So let's look at those. Well, here's the formula that we're going to use for the ones that we're probably most familiar with, either the ones that are going up or going down. A couple things to notice that our vertex, when it's in this form, is h k. And if you don't have this written down, write it down right now or press pause. Another thing that I want to point out is the focus. If your parabola looks like this, your focus or f is your x value which is h and then k plus a. a is that value, the distance that it is from vertex. That's the a value right here. And that is the when the y changes. Now this one is exactly the same, except we're going to subtract. So we're going to have h comma k minus a. a is this distance here. Since we're talking about a distance, it's always going to be positive. It just depends if we're going to subtract it or add it. Now let's look at it if it turns this way or this way. Once again, here's our vertex. It's h k, which is pretty handy. But let's look at our equation. Now instead of having x squared, we're going to have a y squared. And that's going to be our major key to tell us that we're going to be having a side turning parabola. Which side it turns really depends on our focus. It turns towards the focus. And just like the last one we looked at, a is the distance between the vertex and the focus. Remember, it's also the distance between the director and the vertex, the same over here. But you're going to notice that instead of the y value changing, it's the x value changing. And if you haven't figured out why, it's because that this is moving along the x axis. Where the other one, when we were looking at this, is moving along the y axis. And so that's the difference. Find an equation of the parabola with vertex at negative 2, 0 and a focus at negative 3, 0. The easiest way to start this one is just to plot the points. This will be our vertex at negative 2, 0. And then our focus is going to be here at negative 3, 0. Since my focus is here, I know that my parabola is going to look like this. So let's write out the equation for that one. Well, it's y minus k squared equals 4a. Some books have p here. It's the same idea, times x minus h. Once again, hk is my vertex, and it's hk. So let's put those in. So we're going to have y minus 0 squared equals 4a times x plus 2. And it's a plus 2 because a negative, negative is a positive. Now let's keep going here for a second. y minus 0 is y. So you have y squared equals 4a times x plus 2. Now an interesting thing is, remember this a is the distance the focus is from the vertex. Since we're going to the left one, it's actually negative 1. So that's what we're going to put in for a. So we have y squared equals 4 times negative 1 times x plus 2. So we end up with y squared equals negative 4 times x plus 2. And this is our equation. I want you to try this one. Find an equation of the parabola with vertex at 5, 2 and focus at 3, 2. Press pause. Get your 
equation and play to see if you're correct. Well, once again, the first thing we want to do is we want to graph these parts. So here's 5 and 2, and that is my vertex. And then we're going to have 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, and that's my focus. So once again, I know that my picture will look like this. Another thing that we should probably look at right now, as long as we're going to be writing the equation, is the distance between the focus and the vertex. Well, the difference between 5 and 3 is 2. Since we're moving to the left, it will be negative 2. So let's write out our equation first. So we're going to have y minus k squared equals 4a times x minus h. Let's put in the things we know. Well, we know that this is h, k, so we're going to have y minus 2 squared equals 4. Now we just figured out a is negative 2 times x minus 5. So we'll have y minus 2 squared equals negative 8 times x minus 5. And so this is actually the standard form for this parabola. Find the vertex, focus, and directrix of the parabola and sketch the graph. x squared plus 4x plus 6y minus 2 equals 0. Well, the first thing we're going to do is notice that we have an x squared. So for sure, it's going to look like this or like this. What we're going to do is completing the square. Now, for some of you, you might not have done this for a while. If I start doing this and you get a little confused, I would go back to YouTube and just kind of look around for other examples. There's lots of examples. I've even created some examples how to complete the square. But what we want to do is keep the x's on the left side and put the y's on the right side. So we're going to have 6y plus 2. Mostly because I'm going to do completing the square over here, but also because remember the standard form is x minus h squared equals 4a times y minus k. So we might as well keep the x's on the left side and the y's on the right side. Now let's do some completing the square. What completing the square means is I'm going to have something squared for this side. I need the same number squared that will go here. Well 2 plus 2 is 4. 2 squared is also 4. So that's what I'm going to put here. If I add 4 to this side, I have to add 4 to this side. Remember, we need to keep this balanced. So we're going to have equals negative 6y, and 2 plus 4 is 6. Now I need to look at this right side. I'm going to leave this side alone because it's actually done for us. Now I need to take out anything that's in common. Well, I can take out a negative 6. And it turns out that this is the equation we're looking for. It also asks us to graph it. So let's do a quick graph here. I'm going to plot our vertex, which is hk, which is negative 2, 1, negative 2, 1. Now I'm going to look here, because I want the distance between the vertex and the focus. To figure that out, remember that 4a equals negative 6. Remember, 4a comes from our formula and it has to be this negative 6. So I'm going to solve for a. So a turns out to be negative 3 halves, which is the same thing as negative 1.5. And for myself, this is a good answer, but to graph, I kind of like it like that. What we're going to do, since it's negative, we're going to go down 1 and half. We can either count or remember the focus for this guy is h and then k minus p. It's already a negative here, so we're going to have h, which is 2, k, which is negative 1, minus 1 1.5, and so that point actually ends up being 2, negative 3.5. Since this is my focus, I know that it's going to look like this. Now if I want to figure out these points, all I'd have to do is the quadratic formula, or let me see here. I think I have a little bit of room here. I'll show you really quickly, or really smallly, let's say. We have x plus 2 squared equals, now I'm going to distribute, negative 6y plus 6. 
I know that my intercepts are when y is 0. So I'm going to put 0 in here. So I have x plus 2 squared equals 6. Now all I have to do is take the square root of both sides. x plus 2 equals plus or minus the square root of 6. x e equals negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 6. Now when I put that on my calculator, it turns out to be that this point here, and I had to do some rounding, will be 0 0.450, because remember it's an ordered pair, and then this point turns out to be negative 4.440. And thanks for watching.